All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about Twitch. Twitch is now a $1 billion plus dollar company that specializes in video game live streaming. Now, why do I want to go ahead and spend a couple of minutes talking about Twitch? Well, the reason is because until now, pretty much every video that I've made, I've kind of held things back because, honestly, I had a pretty big successful channel on Twitch. Um, I'm not making this video to justify the mistake that I made. Um, but I had hopes that maybe one day I would come back and, you know, it's been about a year now and I, I kind of understand that that's just not going to happen. So, um, I kind of want to go ahead and tell you guys some of the things that you might not know about the company. Um, some, some of you might actually know these things, but I'm sure it's going to be news to a lot of you. And there's a lot of really shocking things that you wouldn't really expect from this company that I have personally experienced and these things have turned something that I've done, which again, wasn't right. Um, I made a mistake, I did something wrong, I definitely deserve punishment for it, but Twitch, the company, took that mistake that I made and turned it into something completely, absolutely chaotic. They turned my mistake into something that pretty much crippled my life, and um, I, I didn't deserve it. I really didn't. I didn't deserve, I deserved punishment for the mistake that I made, but I didn't deserve for everything that ended up happening. Um, and because of Twitch and because of the company, um, there's now thousands of people that think of me as something that I'm not actually, uh, I'm not actually a part of. I'm not actually the personality or image that Twitch has turned me into, and um, it's really just, uh, it's really just unfortunate. But I'll go ahead and I'll start by by saying that um, I got in trouble with Twitch because I didn't control my stream and I kind of took things a little bit too far. Um, essentially what happened is people would broadcast messages on my channel through donations that led to racist jokes, uh, offenses, um, other things as well, but things that were not really okay. Things that people really, uh, the general public thought were disturbing and not acceptable. And I was not the only person on the website doing these things. That's the first thing that people um, are misunderstood about is that, you know, it was only me. I'm the only one that did this, you know. This guy was the only one who did these things. When that is completely 100% absolutely not true. My channel was, I had a reasonable sized channel, but I definitely did not have a very large channel compared to some of the channels on Twitch. I had a following of over 100,000, but I didn't have steady 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 viewers like a lot of other streamers do. So, what this did is this turned my actions that I did and it kind of made me a target because I wasn't monetizing Twitch enough for them to kind of let it slide. And that's the first thing that Twitch really does is if you make the company enough money, they let it slide. It's that simple. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter the actions, whether you're breaking the terms of service. If you make enough money for the company, they're going to let it slide. The things that I did, first of all, I used something called text-to-speech, which is a program that allows you to take donation messages that you send in, and it, it takes a robotic voice and it reads them out loud. And people would send in disturbing messages, things that were not okay, again, things that the general public found disturbing, not appropriate to hear, and people would send me money, and these messages would be read out loud, and I did not do anything to stop it. And Twitch turned me into a monster because of this. They turned me into a racist bigot who, you know, hates people and is just a racist because I allowed people to take their donations, turn them into a robotic voice and have that read out loud on stream. Now, I'll go ahead and say that um, I was probably among one of maybe 30 or 40 other broadcasters on the site that was using the same program. And out of all of these broadcasters, probably close to half of them were having me messages broadcast just as bad as the ones that I were, if not even worse. No joke, there were some broadcasters that were having messages broadcast that were even worse than the messages that I had broadcast. Why weren't these streamers banned? Because they had more viewers, they had more subscribers, they had more fans. If you're making Twitch $50,000, $70,000 a month, they're not just going to snap their fingers and ban you forever for their site. They might give you a little bit of a warning. They might, you know, close your channel down for a day, but you'll be back and you don't really have anything to worry about. Your channel will be safe. 
but because I only had maybe, you know, a thousand, two thousand viewers some days, and, you know, at the time that I got banned, I had a couple hundred subscribers. That's nothing for a billion dollar company. They don't really care about a couple thousand dollars a month. So they decided to turn me into an example, and they decided to uh, ban this person, me, because I was someone that they could target. I was at the perfect level where I didn't have enough viewers, I didn't have enough subscribers to the point where they could close my account down and prove a point without really losing too much. Um, these other streamers who use this text to speech program, they're still there. They still use this program all day long and they are having horrible, horrific, racist, terrible, violent, disturbing messages broadcast on their channel all day live to tens of thousands of viewers. And because they are making Twitch a very large sum of money, they aren't doing anything to stop it, and nor will they. Why should they? They're making a lot of money. Obviously, Twitch wants to remain a successful company, so they can't just go and ban their broadcasters that are, you know, representing 25, 30, 40 percent of their viewership. If they ban just one or two of these large 20, 30,000 viewer broadcasters, they could take a pretty significant hit. Now, if they ban people like me who only get 1,000 viewers, 2,000 at the most sometimes, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. They can enforce their terms of service with, with uh, broadcasters in my level and, uh, and, and, and still be okay. So that's something that's absolutely just very unclear. And it's something that's bothered me a lot and it's something that I've kind of learned to accept is, you know, things aren't fair. Um, life isn't fair, you get targeted, you're the one, you know, that's fine. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it's, I'm not, I'm not a monster. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that Twitch kind of made me out to be. There's so many other people on the site who are doing things, again, just as bad, if not even worse than what I was, um, what I have my channel closed for. And these people are getting away with it every single day because they are making Twitch very large amounts of money. The other thing that Twitch did, which was really um, not okay, and this is the thing that probably bothers me the most, is I originally received a suspension. I received a, a, a ban, and then later I was notified by Twitch that this was just a warning. This was just a temporary ban, and they would allow me to come back to the streaming site. Right? So they told me that I had to clean up my act. They told me that I could never, ever use text-to-speech ever again. They told me that I could not do things such as, quote, I quote from a Twitch staff member, I could not keep the biggest D as my top donation on my screen as it was deemed inappropriate. Um, I could not use text-to-speech donations of any kind, and I could not allow chat to, uh, you know, kind of riot. That sounds a little bit weird, but I had to control my chat. I couldn't let chat get out of hand. I had to control my chat, whether that meant putting it into subscriber-only mode, banning people, making a bunch of new moderators. Twitch told me that I had to be responsible for my chat, and if my chat got out of control, that Twitch would find me accountable and would then close my channel again, right? So they told me that this was just a warning and that I could come back. Well, uh, apparently they changed their mind, and what they did is they banned me a couple of weeks later, um, and they pretty much told me, um, over the phone, uh, they pretty much told me that they changed their mind. They said, well, we were going to give you a warning and let you come back, but, uh, we, we changed our mind. We're just going to go ahead and keep your channel permanently closed. And what this did is the, the effect that this gave is that everyone, all my fans, the thousands of people who followed me and the thousands of people who watched my stream thought that I had had messed up again. They thought that I had made a mistake. They thought that I had done something really, really bad and that I, I screwed up. It was my fault. I screwed up. And that is absolutely not true. Those of you guys who are watching my stream in the last few days, this was, you know, eight months ago now, but those of you guys who watched my stream in the last few days before I got banned, you guys know I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't letting bad messages on the screen. I wasn't encouraging any kind of bad activities on the screen. I was doing absolutely nothing wrong, and Twitch just changed their mind. They just said, yeah, all right, you know what? We changed your mind. We should just ban this guy. You know what? We'll go ahead and go back to our original plan of setting an example. And this led to a complete shitstorm for me. This led to me getting spammed by emails, tweets, uh, just everything, messages, YouTube comments, just all the shit that people were, were saying that I had made a mistake again, that I keep, I keep fucking up and it's always my fault and I keep making mistakes. When honestly, the truth is I had made one big mistake 
which again, I am not denying, I am not refuting, I claim that I had made a mistake, I was out of line, me as well as a lot of other streamers on Twitch who were doing the exact same thing as me, I made a mistake, I got punished for it, and then Twitch allowed me to return to the website, and then they pretty much changed their mind, and they said, well, yeah, you know what, we changed our mind, we're gonna go ahead and ban you. You know what? We're going to go ahead and, and set an example in the community. And again, this just led to people saying, Oh man, this broadcaster, Good Idea Gaming, he really, really fucked up again. He can't learn his mistake. That's a big one. He can't learn his mistake. He keeps making the same mistake over and over again. Well, that is absolutely not true. And again, some of you guys who have watched my content before I got closed down for good, you guys know that I wasn't doing anything. I was doing my absolute best and I was doing completely fine managing my chat and running a completely normal stream. And the second that they decided to just close my channel down is when I got bombarded with all these comments that I had somehow made a mistake and that I had somehow fucked up again, when that is absolutely 100% not true. So Twitch turned something that I did and they just made it a lot worse by changing their mind and by being very biased. And also another thing is really messing with my emotions, right? This is something that probably doesn't affect you guys as much, but me, Twitch was my life, it was my livelihood, it was my job, it was my living. It's been months from now, so obviously I've moved on, but back then, you know, it was an emotional disaster for me. It was a complete disaster. It, it you know, was partially responsible for rooting a relationship that I was in, but getting phone calls from Twitch that, oh, we're going to let you back again. No, we're not. We're going to let you back again. No, we're not. We can't de decide wh what's going on. They didn't really enforce any kind of rule set. It's not like, the, it's a billion dollar company, but they're still running it like it is a brand new startup and a bunch of kids that just got out of school. They, they, they didn't have a decision. They didn't know what they were doing. So they kept going back and forth, and I kept getting emails. We're going to keep you banned. We're not going to keep you banned. Okay, let's unban your channel. Oh, three weeks later, you're banned again. Oh, we'll unban you. Oh, never mind. We're going to permanently ban you. And there were no reasons or anything like that. It was just kind of one guy's decision at Twitch to just go ahead, and, and, and he was the one that somehow was... You know, he couldn't make up his mind, and he was just deciding whether to keep me banned, whether to unban me, ban me again, or whatever. So, it ended up being a complete disaster, and, and really, really, really messing with my emotions. I mean, imagine it's your job, right? And imagine if your boss is just, he can't decide whether to fire you or not. So, he fires you, and then he says, you know what, I changed my mind, I'm hiring you again. You know what? you can come back. And then three weeks later, he's like, nah, never mind. I changed my mind, you're fired. But it's even worse than that. What's worse than that is everyone thinks that because I got banned again, I had kept making mistakes over and over again, and I kept fucking up. When it was just Twitch, just they couldn't be decisive. They couldn't decide what they wanted to do with me. It, honestly, if I had made this mistake and they decided to just keep me banned once and for all, that would have been much better than the, than the things that I had to go through. Instead, I had to go through the emotional turmoil of Twitch not realizing what they wanted to do. They just had no clue. They really didn't. They had no clue what they wanted to do, and I had to go through the emotional turmoil and disaster of of letting Twitch decide what to do with me, and having them constantly unban me or ban me and then unban me and all this stuff. You guys went through it as well, and <clears throat> you know this is only something that really I can fully understand, and only something that Twitch can really do. You guys don't really know what happened. You know, you see, you go to my channel, it's closed. What do you assume? You assume that I fucked up again and broke the rules. Is that really true? No, not really. It's Twitch's website. They can ban you for whatever they want. Just because my channel got closed doesn't mean that I did anything wrong that time. They just changed their mind, and that's exactly what happened. So, it's these combination of things that really just make the site very, very unprofessional, and I just wanted to clear these things up. You know, don't believe whatever you think is going around. You know, if you hear these things about this streamer and why they got banned or whatever, there's probably a really long story to it. And honestly, it's, uh, it, you know, you never really know. Unless you're that broadcaster, then you really don't know what the true story is, right? It's ridiculous. People have made me out to be something that I am absolutely not. You know, I just went and watched a stream on Twitch the other day. A freaking RuneScape streamer. He was literally saying that he hated black people. He was posting pictures of nudity on stream. He was insulting other streamers, swearing, just doing horrible, horrible things, threatening people. God, it was so much worse than that. It was just the most vile, disgusting things ever that I had seen from any streamer. And he was doing this for hours on end. He was wasted out of his mind. And he kept going on and on and on and on and on. Things He had done things in the three hours that were far worse than any of the things that I had ever done streaming on Twitch in the three years that I had been. 
on the site. And of course, he had a bunch of viewers, and uh, he didn't get in any trouble for it. His channel was still there the next day. So, obviously, Twitch doesn't really enforce the terms of service equally. Again, going back to the beginning of the video, if you have more viewers, if you have more subscribers, Twitch seems to be a lot more lenient with you. You know, that's life. Life's not fair. You know, if you're making the company more money, obviously they want to keep you around. But, um, <clears throat> you know, just all these examples, you know, you can't use text to speech. They, t they told me, you cannot use text to speech. Texas, they literally told me uh, on the phone, a st staff member from Twitch, text to speech is not allowed on our website. You are not allowed to use text to speech. If we find you using text to speech again, we'll permanently close your channel. I, it's ridiculous. There's so many other broadcasters on Twitch today. You know, this was a year ago now, more maybe today that still use text to speech and and reap thousands of dollars in donations. You know, hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars in donations every day f from it. Uh, they told me to do all these things that again, uh, you find streamers just doing all the time on Twitch. Like you, they told me quote. Literally said this on the phone. You cannot call your top donator top D. It is offensive. It is not okay to broadcast that on your screen. And we find that to be not okay. Are you kidding me? Go look at any female streamer on Twitch and look at what their top donator name is. It's all top D, top something, you know, related to that. It's absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure there's so many other things that I, I haven't even mentioned. It's already been 15 minutes and I'm just going on and on. But... Um, you know what, guys? Don't believe everything that you hear. There's a lot more to it. Uh, pretty much the lesson to this video, the, the TLDR version of it is, um, you know, Twitch's bias. I got treated uh, unfairly. I still made a mistake. You know, I'm not refuting that. I still made a mistake along with a lot of other broadcasters who didn't get punished for that mistake. I got punished for it. All these other broadcasters, they didn't get punished for it because they have more viewers and more subscribers, right? I made a mistake. I got punished for it. Twitch is bias, and uh, you know, life is unfair, and that's it. And the result of that is, you know, here I am, right? It's been a long time, but for some reason, it keeps coming back. I still get emails and messages every day about this shit. It's absurd, but um, you know, it's uh, it's just it's just the way it is. And the result is now people think that I'm some kind of you know, crazy monster who made all these mistakes and kept, keeps repeating his mistakes over and over again, which is 100% not the case. If anything, that's the one thing that I want to get clear is that um, Twitch turned this whole thing that I did into a complete disaster when honestly, it really wasn't a complete disaster. That's a great, that's a great way to wrap it up. Well, I made a mistake, right? I did something that wasn't okay. A lot of other streamers on Twitch did the exact same thing as me. They didn't get punished. Whatever. Let's look at me now. I made a mistake. It technically was against the terms of service, right? I uh, didn't do enough to control my chat, to control my stream, uh, to control my um, <clears throat> community and environment. I got punished for it. And then everything after that, Twitch just turned into a massive shitstorm. They were indecisive. They, you know, didn't know what they were doing. They turned this situation into something completely f way beyond what it actually was and, um, you know, targeted me. So, you know, that's it. That's really all I got to say. Um, if, you, if you listen to this whole video, I give you props. Um, it, it is a little bit of a rant, but it's also something that I want uh, to make clear. And I don't think I've ever gone through a video and actually really um, been so straightforward. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. I'm sure there's so many things that I've missed out that are juicy, juicy details that you guys probably want to know. But, you know, what, what can I say? That's pretty much the wrap. And hopefully after this, um, you guys are a little bit more understanding. And hopefully after this... Um, we can kind of go ahead and, uh, and drop the situation and move on because it's been a long time now. Um, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people constantly misunderstanding the situation. And, um, you know, I kind of want the truth to just be out there set in stone like it is now. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate the time and uh, look forward to some uh, good content coming very, very soon. So I'll see you all next time.